What is going on? Jared Poland, fro knows photo.com. So, you're looking at a picture from the D3000 Super Seeker Project, but that's not what this is all about. I want to talk a little bit about the clarity slider when you're trying to develop your images in Lightroom. So what does the clarity slider do? Does anybody know? Raise your hand. Okay, you right over there. What's the answer? Mm, maybe. Next. No. No. Okay. I'll just give it to you. Anyway. So the clarity, it's a form of sharpening that really hits the edges. I just dropped a whole bunch of papers. That sucks. Um, so it's really something that you have to see to really understand. When I first started using it, I didn't know what it was doing. I actually never touched it because I didn't know what it was doing. And then when I discovered what it did, I used it too much. I was too heavy with it. And now that I really understand it, I utilize it to my advantage. So let's look over here at the clarity. So we, when you get it, it starts at zero. Okay. If we go all the way up to 100, look what happened. Look at the edges. Look at look at the halo effect. You see that halo effect? So let's see. We'll go back to zero, not 800. Zero. Look, no halo to major halo. So what is going on here? Look at that. Look how much different it is and it's not good you may think the sharpening is good but it's overdone so we'll go back to zero and let's go all the way to negative 100 it gives it a very glowing effect where does the glowing effect come in handy well if you're shooting kids or people that have uh, older people and you want to make them look softer you can pull back but i don't recommend pulling all the way back because it takes out all it, it basically smooths your image fully out. The reverse thing is happening here. There's a white glow instead of a black glow. So here we'll go back to zero, right in the middle. It's very good. I would For this image, I may just pump it slightly and not much because there's really not much that needs to be done here. But look at his face. See how much harsher it is? It just makes it harsh and hard. That's not something I want to see in most of my images. Like pulling back slightly, it's a baseball picture. We don't want it too soft. So this is really a, a pretty simple what you see is what you're going to get type of thing. When you play with this slider, what works for you, you know, could be just a little tweak, could be a lot of a tweak, could be less tweak. Just play with this slider and see what happens in conjunction with all of your other sliders but just see the harshness to the softness the harshness to the softness so that is your clarity slider that is just a short little look into that but really it's a feel when you move it up you see what happens and when you move it down you see what happens so good luck with the clarity slider i hope that is a pretty good little explanation i mean there's not much to it it's pretty much move that slider up and see how it reacts with your image and then move it down and see how it reacts that way. But don't be too heavy handed because it will just start to look fake and over sharp. And also you could overcompensate if your picture's out of focus. It's still going to look out of focus. It's just going to be sharper out of focus, if that makes any sense. So until next time, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. Keep it real up in the field. I eat.